So today I'm going to do a video to show you how to get from um, Sony's S-Log3 footage into Rec. 709 in DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's something that I, when I come across from Premiere Pro, I didn't know how to do it in DaVinci. Um, there's many ways and this is by far the best way that I've found and gives you a good color space to do your grading and working in. Now this way is if you are working in DaVinci YRGB not the color management color space which is where davinci tries to do some of the work for you it's another conversation to have the color management um which we're not going to be going over today i'm just going to be showing you in davinci yrgb whereas where you you kind of do it yourself so what you want to do first of all is obviously find yourself in the color page with your very flat looking log footage now First of all, what you'll do is Option S and create yourself a few nodes. Um, I'm not going to go into too much about grading today, but what I'll show you is how to get yourself in a Rec. 709 um, color space with a nice grading space in the middle. So on your first node, what you want to do is you want to click on Effects. You want to scroll down to Color Space Transform and drag and drop that onto your first node. Now your input color space is your Sony's S Gamma 3 dot Cine or S Gamma 3 if you're using S Gamma 3. I'm using S Gamma 3 dot Cine. So that's my color space. My input gamma, oh no, not black magic, is my S log 3. So scroll down to S log 3, that's my input gamma. Now what you want to do is your output color space, you want to take that into DaVinci wide gamut and your output gamma you want to take into DaVinci Intermediate. Now what that does, that takes you from S-Log3 into DaVinci Wide Gamut, which is a really nice wide color space to be doing your grading in. So if you close effects now, what you want to do is come across to your last node, whether it be your fourth, fifth, sixth, you want to come across to the last node in your node tree. Again, click on effects, come and find your color space transform drag and drop that onto your last node in the node tree. Now this time, what you want to do, your input color space, that is DaVinci wide gamut because that's what you've told your first node to send out. And your input gamma, that is your DaVinci intermediate. Now the output space of your last node, that's when you want to take it into your Rec. 709 and your output gamma, you want to take into gamma 2.4. Now, what that's done is that's taken your footage from your S-Log3 into DaVinci Wide Gamut and then from DaVinci Wide Gamut into your Rec. 709. So you've got a nice Rec. 709 image here, but your DaVinci Wide Gamut, nice wide gamut space to do your editing in. Now that is exactly the same as if you was to take it from S-Log3 to Rec. 709 in one node using your color space transform, except for what you've done is you've taken it into DaVinci Wide Gamut for your editing or your color grading for instance if you now click on your second node that could be for instance what you wanted to do your curves in and if you to drop a nice s curve in there if you look already all you've done is you've done what you've done above and you've got a really nice looking rec 709 image there now that is it that is how you take your image from s log 3 into rec 709 in davinci resolve